Line protection test wiring usually refers to the wiring between relay protection tester and microcomputer line protection device. Next, let's demonstrate the line protection test wiring. The equipment we use include NSR304 microcomputer line protection device and microcomputer relay protection tester. First, look up the drawings. Terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4 of terminal block 1-1 UD of line protection panel cabinet correspond to the input of line voltages UA, UB, UC and UN respectively. Terminals 5 and 6 correspond to the input of synchronous voltage. Terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4 of 1-1 ID correspond to the input of line current IA, IB, IC and in respectively. one 1 cd one and one one cp one 2 can form a pair of tripping outlets of the protection device. one one cd one and one one cp two 2 can be used as a pair of closing outlet contacts of the protection device. It is used to feed back the tripping and closing conditions of the protection device to the tester and measure the action time of the protection. Next, let's finish the wiring. We connect the voltage outputs UA, UB, UC, and UN of the tester to terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4 of terminal block 1-1 UD of the protection panel cabinet, respectively. The synchronous voltages UA and UN are connected to terminals 5 and 6 of 1-1 UD, respectively. The current outputs IA, IB, IC and N of the tester are connected to terminals 1, 2, 3 and 4 of terminal block 1-1 ID of the protection panel cabinet, respectively. Then lead out the tripping outlet contact of the protection, IE 1-1 CD1 and 1-1 CLP 1-2 terminals, and connect them to the switching value input terminal of the tester. The closing outlet contact, i.e. contact 1-1 CD1 and 1-1 CLP2-2, is connected to the switching value input terminal B of the tester. The above is the line protection test wiring. After the test wiring is completed, we can carry out various function tests of line protection.